Yo, yo, it's my ass though, yo, bitch, no, don't let your bitch go. It's the motherfucking hip hop lab. We got DD in the building. What's the deal? What's up, Lando? What's up with you? Nothing. Trying to get to it. Yeah, you get to it for sure. So, <laughs> you know, if y'all in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Not even the D, you know what I'm saying? Oakland, Milwaukee, you feel me? All the markets that tap in with the Detroit music, then you definitely heard about Junior Rich. Yeah, I got Minnesota now. Oh, Minnesota yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Like Minnesota, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. So for the people who don't know, this is the face behind Junior Rich. This is Didi. So Didi, for people who don't know who you are, just push yourself and get a little bit more familiar. Um, I'm Didi with Dream Rich. Um, this club and I have been up and running for about three years now. I'm actually, I took off in Detroit and now it's like, I'm getting calls from everywhere now, but like now I'm sending out more to Minnesota and stuff now. Like mm -hmm. The Cali, Cali, they they like they like here, so now it's like I'm winning now with the clothes line. I, mean. I didn't even I ain't gonna lie, I kind of knew the city was gonna rock with me, but now that I'm getting it from everywhere else, I'm like, oh my god, this is about to be a global line. Like I'm about to take this far, so I made a big transition this year, and I'm really proud of myself. I'm ready to go further. Period, period. So right, right right now, like, you know what I'm saying, what, 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 what do you feel like was your biggest uh, inspiration to start the club line? To start my club line is struggle was my biggest inspiration. I want something. I didn't like school, so me personally, I'm smart. It's all get out, but I couldn't stay focused. Like, I have a problem with staying focused on one thing. I'm even like that now, like, even in clothes and business. One thing, if I got one thing on over right here, I have to shut everything up on the other side in order to focus on this one thing. If not, I'm going to jump into everything at once. Like, I'm able to multitask or something. And a lot of people don't have that gift. It's really a gift, but it's like, in school, <laughs> I could be <laughs> doing a paper and I'm going to sleep. Oh, no, I, I, I want to do that. Like, so I couldn't stay in school. So that was really my biggest thing. So, what 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 was the big like monumental point where you feel like all right it went from just being something that you started to a profit but what was that one main thing that helped you get up? The I would say the main thing was everybody everybody doubted me at first and I I started feeling like I couldn't do it. So when I at the moment that I started feeling like I couldn't do it, I'm like, you know what I'm going? I lived in Miami. I used my last couple dollars to get Dream Rich popping. It was my birthday, I was sad, my my friends was like, you're not about to be able to sell a shirt for $50. That's weak. You ain't going to be able to do that. So I'm like, really? Okay. I really got discouraged. So I just took my last couple dollars and put it in and came home when I sold out. Like, I sold out. I had 55 shirts and they sold out. Period. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like you, like right now, it seems like, uh, like everybody in the city, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when you pop me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's. It's, it's a couple of different photo lines on the thing. It's like you and Wealthy like really got the whole scene really tied up. Like, but we, we, starting off, was it something that you just really aimed for like the rappers and public figures to wear or just wanted to be just like that? I just wanted to put it on people. And it's, I'm, a, I'm kind of one of the girls that everybody loves, so I kind of got an advantage. It's not that I just put it on rappers. A lot of these, I, I have met new rappers now, but a lot of these people I have genuine relationships with. Like, it's, right. People that I've known for a long time where they just start rapping and they like, oh, let me have that outfit or like the shout out to the song, the first one started from Little Baby. That was my, that's my brother. So when he shouted me out on the song with Dick, I'm like, oh, Dream Rich wasn't even there yet. I'm like, okay. And then DZ, you got Mac Nichols, you got Yachty Rock, like all these boys constantly shouting me out and it was just like, it got more people in it. More people wanted, wanted to wear it. So, what, 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 what do you say is your favorite shout out of all the punch lines, you know? Little Baby Nitty Little Baby Nitty I fell asleep in Dream Rich with that DD. And then the uh, Long Clouds in my Dream Rich. That's gonna always be my, that's gonna wanna be one of my top, for sure. Period, period. So, um, how did you even build that relationship with uh, with, with DZ? Because I know the first video I ever shot from him, he had on Dream Rich. Honestly, DZ was a supporter. Um, uh, smoke, I knew Smoke. First and Smoke actually was a, a supporter all the time, and Smoke kind of got me hooked in with all his friends. And um, when he, when they DZ called for a drop suit, no Smoke called for him, and they told me to meet meet somebody at this, uh, somebody was getting some dreads. I mean, he was getting his dreads tightened up on like seven miles away. He's like, meet him, meet somebody that want a drop suit. So I pulled up on him, he bought it. The next day, I was I had a plan for a photo shoot and it went left. So I didn't have nobody else to shoot. I'm like, damn, the boy they just went to jump to last night. 
he'll be a good, he he can do it. And this when he first started rapping, I'm just like, I'm calling the dog, I'm just calling him. And I called him, it was genuine. He's like, I'll come through, come on. And it was him, Sada, somebody else, I can't remember who else came. They all came to the first photo shoot. And that was it. That was that was two and a half years ago, DZ did my first shoot. Period, period. And that whole story, you know what I'm saying? That's why I really be around stressing people. Like, you know what I'm saying? We started something off like, like, Sometimes it's better to fuck with who fuck with you because mm -hmm. you don't know where they gonna go. Like, you know and exactly, I never knew where DZ was gonna go. I didn't even know DZ rap. Honestly, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know him. So, but he genuinely supported me, and it was like, okay, I'm gonna call the boy with the dress back. From me, I said he'd be a good look for that. Yeah. And he and he said yeah. So I'm like, all right, that. And that's really how our, our our friendship started. That's how it started. Right. And I imagine he would have been like, well, he ain't actually. Let me try to get. It. Top dog, such and such, such and such, and they yeah. did it, and it wouldn't even been as important because you know what I'm saying it was like y'all build something. Here. Yeah, and, and honestly, when we did redid another photo shoot, it was like this is where we start, this is where it came from, and this where we, this is where we are now. And honestly, he, he helped me out with a lot of, he sent me a lot of followers. He, I mean, the love is mutual. So right, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So what would you say would be the hardest thing about having a clothing line found in Detroit, Michigan? Here it would be people don't understand business. A lot of people think, like I get, I get this all the time where it's like, I got a lot of friends. Well, I can't wear it first. Or everybody, people can't go on Gucci and ask Gucci for something first. So when it comes to me, why y'all got to do it to me? Right. Like I'm working very hard to do this and I want my stuff to sell. So the moment some other people see somebody else in it, they feel like they don't, they don't want to buy it or... I get bashed a lot because I sell out fast. I have no control over that. Like it's, it's a first come first serve basis. I try to... I used to try to hold stuff for people and people, people, people wouldn't, people wouldn't come get their stuff. So it's like, I'm not holding nothing else for nobody else. It's first up, first service. Like, okay. Well, I hold this one. I got an idea. Yeah, when it's somebody coming to get it. You know what I'm saying? So now I don't hold. And then it's like, I, I literally have a problem with people speaking on me. Like, it's people that I've helped or people that I've been friends with for a long time where I don't do nothing to nobody. I mind my business. You can never, you can never hear me speak bad on another clothing line, nobody. But I get that all the time. Like, oh yeah, she. Who does she think she is? And really, I'm the most humble person. I'm humble. I, I ain't there yet. I'm trying, and I, and I'm willing to help anybody as long as you show me some genuine love. I'm, I'm built off love and relationships. I'm not built off being fake. I hate fake stuff. So. Period. Period. No doubt. So. What, 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 where do you want to take this? Where do you see Dream Rich in the next year? In the next year, I'm going to be... In the next year, I'm going to have a storefront. That's the goal. I want a storefront in Detroit. Label here in Detroit. So that I can target everybody. I want it to be like a... I want it to be where you come. When you come to Detroit, you're looking for me. That's what I want. How how how, how much do you... Uh, do, you uh, do, do you study like Damon John? And his group, right? I, don't, I don't. I haven't. Oh. I need to. You just put me on some. I was all interested in Nike and Chanel. And yeah. yeah, that's my Chanel yeah. is one of my Chanel is one of my favorite stories. Period. So, cause she came from nothing, like she was an orphan, like that's yeah, deep. I yeah, and it's like I, I want to read. I read up on girls making it only because it's harder to be a girl, a woman in business with a bunch of men. Cause being pretty, you kind of get the back end. It's not a bad thing, but. It's kind of like a, oh, she got to talk to him. In reality, I handle my business. Right. I come here up front. I come straight handle business face to face. It ain't about you sleeping with the person. Like, we going to handle this like business. I'm a business woman. You're a businessman. We don't got to do the other stuff. So. That's probably the hardest thing about being a business, a, a woman in business, period. No doubt, no doubt. So if you could talk to everybody who's been directly supporting Dream Rich since the beginning, since you sold the first shirt, what would you say to me? I love y'all. <laughs> I don't think, I mean, the love that I get is crazy. Like, I can't say my city don't support me. Like, the people around me support me like crazy. I'm able to sell out every time I drop a piece of clothing. It's probably one thing that I, I didn't sell out. And it's still sold eventually, but a week is my top from selling out. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. So, uh, any, any shout outs? Anybody you want to shout out? Can we get up out here? I don't really know. It ain't nobody that I got. No, I mean, everybody. Thank you. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, like, thank sure. you. Because it's not, Yo, I mean, if I, if, I, if, I, if I exclude people, then it's going to be somebody else to get. Yeah. So, I just thank everybody for the genuine, the genuine love. And 
Keep dreaming rich. Believe in me, cause I got I got faith that it's gonna go somewhere. Period. Me too. This the first but not the last interview with Didi. Honor of Gene Rich, and the next time, you know, we're gonna make sure we record you cutting that big ribbon over the new store. Yeah, but that's what we that's what we're going. No doubt, no doubt. The goal is February, so mark my words. February, that's right around the corner. Yeah, we're gonna do a big fashion show first, though. I'm going crazy for a fashion show, that's the goal. Let me know so we can all come out, everything, support, support. The fashion show, I'm talking about, I'm trying to bring some big people here. Period. And no matter two months, I don't even wanna say a date, because that's how bad I'm trying to, that's how crazy I'm trying to go. Keep me posted. Gotcha. For sure. You land on your bitch, love on yourself, bitch. Go to the motherfucking hip hop lab. Diddy, Jane Rich. Let's get it.